Customs and Border Protection CBP, targeting system for alcohol imports. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing the Customs and Border Protection's targeting system for alcohol imports. If you're a business involved in importing alcohol or are simply interested in understanding the process, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Before we dive into the targeting system, let's briefly discuss the importance of customs brokerage and the role it plays in international trade. Customs brokerage refers to the process of clearing goods through customs on behalf of importers. It involves the preparation and submission of documentation, as well as complying with various regulations and requirements. Working with a customs broker can help ensure that your goods are processed smoothly and efficiently. One essential aspect of customs brokerage is obtaining a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee between the importer, the surety company, and the CBP. It ensures that the importer will comply with all customs regulations and pay any duties, taxes, and fees owed to the government. Without a customs bond, an importer cannot legally import goods into the United States. Another important concept to understand is the Importer Security Filing ISF, which is also known as the 10 plus 2 rule. The ISF requires importers to submit specific information about their shipments to the CBP at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto a vessel bound for the United States. This information helps the CBP in targeting suspicious shipments and conducting risk assessments. Now let's delve into the CBP's targeting system for alcohol imports. This system utilizes advanced algorithms and data analytics to identify high-risk shipments and prioritize them for inspection. It takes into account a variety of factors, such as the type of alcohol, country of origin, and importer's compliance history. The CBP targeting system aims to ensure compliance with various regulations, including but not limited to, the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau TTB, requirements, labeling and packaging regulations, and the prevention of counterfeit products entering the market. By targeting high-risk shipments, the CBP can protect consumers and legitimate businesses from potential harm. The CBP's targeting system is not solely based on manual intervention. It heavily relies on technology to analyze large amounts of data. This includes data from import manifests, historical shipping patterns, intelligence information, and risk assessment algorithms. By leveraging technology, the CBP can efficiently and effectively identify shipments that require further scrutiny. When a shipment is flagged by the targeting system, it may undergo various inspection procedures, ranging from physical inspections to the use of advanced scanning technologies. The CBP has the authority to open containers, inspect packages, and verify compliance with regulations. These measures help ensure the integrity of the import process and protect national security. In conclusion, the Customs and Border Protection's targeting system for alcohol imports plays a crucial role in safeguarding the importation of alcohol into the United States. By using advanced algorithms and data analysis, the CBP can effectively identify high-risk shipments that require further inspection. This ensures compliance with regulations, protects consumers, and maintains the integrity of international trade. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the CBP's targeting system for alcohol imports. We hope you found this information helpful and insightful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos on customs brokerage and all things related to international trade. Disclaimer note below. See you next time and happy importing.